Hello, my name is Trevor Blakey. I am pursuing a master's degree of science in physics with a nanotechnology specialization at the University of Waterloo. I'm still in my first term, so please forgive me if the details of my project are a bit vague, but I have just joined the Molecular Beam Epitaxy Research Group, led by Dr. Zbigniew Wazalewski. Dr. Wazalewski is also acting as my supervising professor for my master's degree. With Dr. Wazalewski's guidance and the MBE group, I'll be researching indium antimonide nanostructures for use with quantum cascade lasers. The title of my project is Tunable Terahertz Quantum Cascade Lasers Using Indium Antimonide Nanostructures. My research, although still rather undefined in this early stage, will look into combining indium antimonide semiconductors with distributed feedback quantum cascade lasers to create a tunable dielectric environment for the feedback gratings. So terahertz radiation is any electromagnetic radiation with a frequency between 0.1 terahertz to 10 terahertz. This is between the far infrared and microwave regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Currently, there is a large demand for the development of systems to guide and shape terahertz radiation efficiently. Indium, in, indium antimonide semiconductors show a strong potential for creating such tunable devices because of its high electron mobility and narrow band gap with a temperature-dependent electron density. My project will involve the modeling of indium antimonide terahertz plasmonic structures and then the fabrication of these nanostructures through molecular beam epitaxy. Molecular beam epitaxy uses an ultra-high vacuum to deposit layers of atoms onto a substrate to build the nanostructures layer by layer. Applications of my research include the emission and detection of terahertz radiation, sensors for chemical identification, environmental sensing, biomedical and pharmaceutical spectroscopy and imaging, as well as ultra-fast wireless communication and security. My research has impacts in areas concerning health and well-being through detection of pathogens or abnormalities in the body. It also impacts clean water and sanitation through detection of pollutants in water. It can also uh, impact sustainable cities and communities through fast data transfer for real-time feedback control systems as well as impacts climate action through enhanced environmental monitoring. Thank you for listening.